I've noted that there's quite a disparity in viewing numbers between the videos I do on atheism and the videos I do on reality. It would appear that those who want to talk about atheism don't want to talk about reality. OK, then let's talk a little more on atheism. Now, please understand that while I may use levity now and then to hopefully ease the tension, uh, these videos are not a put down of atheism, but rather an encouragement for people to question the things they have been taught. Now, don't worry, I'm not singling out atheists. I do exactly the same thing for theists as well. And indeed, many of my reality bender videos actually highlight the errors of many a traditional church and denominational teaching by comparing reality to what the Bible actually says and not what traditional teaching declares it to say. I want people to believe what the Bible is saying, not what they have simply been told the Bible says. The two are frequently vastly different. The reason I'm addressing these videos to atheists, but they are also for theists, is for the same reason that there is such a discrepancy of viewing between my reality bender videos and my atheism videos. Atheists are attracted to videos about atheism, but do not appear to be attracted to videos about reality. To talk to an atheist, it seems I have to address my videos to atheism. So, OK, this one is a very simple one, and it deals with only one question. It's a question atheists just love to ask theists, as if it actually proves something other than a lack of logical argument on their part. Now, we all know it off by heart. You can even say it along with me, if you want. One, two, three. If God created the universe, then who created God? Clearly, a few moments of logical thinking expose it as a meaningless rhetorical question designed to obscure a lack of logical argument. After all, it has no other purpose. It just obscures the reality. Clearly, if you do not think the universe needs a beginning, then clearly you have to logically agree the Lord does not need a beginning either. But if you believe it is possible for the universe to create itself, then you have to logically believe it is possible for a God to create himself. I mean, after all, uh, a God would only have to create a God. A universe would have to create a whole functioning universe. Then again, if you think a God must have a creator, then for logical consistency, you would have to agree that the universe must equally require a creator. So, as you can see, it's a meaningless question that generates no actual argument just obscuring logic. It's designed to obscure the truth, not reveal the truth. But just to discourage atheists from blindly reiterating this sham question endlessly and without thinking about it, and hopefully cause them to pause for a moment and actually think about what atheism wants them to believe, I encourage all theists to respond to it with a question of their own. Uh, anybody already guessed what the question is? It's this. If the universe created Richard Dawkins, who created the universe? What I want people to do is to take time to think before you believe everything you are told. Jesus encourages it, and to know the truth demands it. <laughs>